There's a bit of a lull in Nintendo first party stuff right now. We're right smack dab in the middle of a few different major releases. There's been no shortage of third party AAA stuff though. But forget all of that. There's been some amazing indie games that have come out within the past month or so that you should not let fly under your radar. And it just so happens that none of these games are over $20. I originally wasn't going to make this a cheap games list. It was going to be a list of indie games that I thought deserved more recognition, but it just so happened that all of those games were very inexpensive. So let's just jump into it. We'll jump into it. This video is really just an excuse to get me to talk about Katana Zero. What a fantastic game. It's a 2D action side scroller. There's slashing, there's rolling, there's a bullet time mechanic. You could also pick up objects and throw them at people. There's some stealth elements too. There's a lot going on here. The twist and what makes this game so unique is that there's only one hit until you're dead. Luckily, you play the game in short chunks. Every time you enter a room, you're trying to figure out what will work to clear all the enemies and get you out of there alive. If you're successful, CCTV footage of your successful attempt plays. It's a really cool narrative element that I just skip right past now because I got things to do. This game also has a heavy focus on dialogue trees that affect the gameplay. And the story is dark. It's awesome. Katana Zero is just $15 and it has a Metacritic score of 83%, which should be at least in 87. Come on guys. Panty Party is a non-hentai anime game where you play a pair of sentient panties and shoot other sentient panties. There's no hentai in it. See, it says it right there, just panties. There's barely even any anime girls. I'm just kidding, this game isn't part of the list. I just needed to tell somebody about it. It's hot trash, the game's hot trash. Cuphead isn't a new game, but it's new to the Switch. Full disclosure, I did not play it on the Switch. I played it on Xbox One. I bought an Xbox One for Cuphead, so I think I'm good. You'll be happy to know that the Switch port is being praised for running exactly as well as the Xbox version. It's a perfect port. But if you haven't given Cuphead a try yet, the Switch is the perfect platform for it. It's a great game for quick bursts of gameplay if you want to play in portable mode. And you're going to want to take frequent breaks because this game is hard. You've got to like hard games if you want to give this one a shot. And it's not much easier with a friend because you share lives. Don't play it with someone you care about. It will probably tear you apart. Cuphead is just $20 with a Metacritic score of 87. Box Boy Plus Box Girl is an action puzzle game developed by HAL Laboratories and published by Nintendo. So not really an indie game, but this is about cheap games. It's not about indie games anymore, so it's on the list. I also haven't played it. But AJ has, and he seems to really like it and has a lot to say about it, so go listen to him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you listen to me say literally anything, I gotta say this. Product provided by Nintendo. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Look, I don't care about your drama with Nintendo. You're not getting me in trouble with the FTC, bucko. Anyway, Box Boy and Box Girl is one of those games that's just perfect for the Switch in the sense that you don't need to be tied to it and it alone. That time that you do choose to spend with it could be full of variety. It's very consumable in small bite-sized sessions that consist of playing through its many puzzles. Be it in sequential order, going world to world, only moving on when you meet the completion goals for blocks used and crowns collected, or if you instead choose to bounce around and clear the levels you're in the mood for at any given time. Both methods have their merits, be it to satisfy a completionist itch or to experience all of the game's twists on the mechanics dispersed across your experience rather than in the linear escalation of the given ideas that the world structure encourages. And it doesn't end at that either. In addition to this pick up and play thing it's got going on, there's additional balloon challenges, there's a post game mode featuring that tall box man QD, and in addition to all of that, you can also play it with a friend, family member, or by yourself albeit in a sadder form by way of the series first Tale for Two mode, a mode where players take control of Box Boy and Box Girl to complete puzzles together. Either way you go about it, the nearly 300 challenges that are on offer as well as the rewards in the form of hats and skins you can earn for completing all of that are more than worth the asking price in my opinion. Box Boy and Box Girl is $10 on the Nintendo Switch eShop and has a Metacritic score of 81. And before I go, just a quick reminder just for you Bob product provided All right. by well, Duck Game is another one of my favorite games on this list. It might be the most fun drop in and drop out party game 
on the Switch. At first glance, it looks like something like Smash Brothers. Two to four players spawn on a 2D map, and it's a mad dash for any of the guns or weapons floating around. It's one-shot kills, so matches go by super fast, or you can also knock people off of the map. It's hectic and so much fun. Most of the fun comes from doing dumb sh** after you've won a match, like picking up dead players or quacking. There's a quack button. There's also a single player that's a collection of challenges, but don't get it for that. Get it for the great multiplayer. The multiplayer is also online, which is unfortunately rare to see with Switch games these days. It does require Nintendo Switch Online to use though. Duck Game is just $13 and has a Metacritic score of 80, which is again, way lower than I would have given it. It's a lot of fun. Get aft. Get aft. <laughs> Shakedown Hawaii is a name that's dangerously close to Hotline Miami, right? Is that just me? It's a take on the old 2D top-down GTA games, which I loved. Except now all of the characters look like those little homies figures that you get out of a 25 cent machine. The game has a surprising amount of environments, something GTA 2 did not have. You can also, get this, enter buildings. Oh my God, wow. so innovative, inspiring. If you liked the GTA of old, you should check this out. It's $20 on the eShop and does not have a Metacritic score, but it has a user score of 7.6 out of 10. And it's been the talk of the Twitters lately, so that's gotta be worth something, right? And that's it for all of the games that are already out, but there are still games that I know are gonna be awesome that are coming out very soon. They might even be out by the time you're watching this video since YouTube videos live forever. Like Super Meat Boy Forever. This was supposed to come out in April. It still says April on their website, but they're not done with it yet. So it should be coming out any day now. This is the sequel to one of the best platformers of all time. Super Meat Boy is also known for being pretty difficult. I wouldn't say it's like Cuphead difficult, but the challenge is respectable. But maybe I'm just saying that because I like platformers. This time, Super Meat Boy Forever is an auto-scroller, which I admit sounds bad, but if you think about it, when you're playing a game like Mario, you're just holding right and B the whole time anyway. So automating that just makes the game more accessible to more people. There are just two buttons. There's a jump and a slide kick. Being an auto scroller doesn't take anything away from the gameplay either, surprisingly. I got a chance to play it at PAX East last month and I got to have a chat with the developer. And if you wanna see that, I'll leave that video in the end card so you can watch that after this video. It was a fun little video to make. It was like a cute little vlog. I want to talk about Cyber Shadow because it's a game that I'm most excited for. It's being published by Yacht Club Games, the guys who made Shovel Knight. It's also gonna just be $15, but uh, the game has no release date yet. I could have sworn I heard someone say summer, so it'll probably be out before you know it. Keep this one on your radar. And if you want to see more on Cyber Shadow, again, check out that vlog after this video because I played it there at PAX East 2, and I loved it, it was awesome. So anyway, what do you guys think about all these recent cheap games for the Nintendo Switch? Did you see something here that you're gonna pick up that you didn't know was out? Anything piqued your interest or anything that I left out? Leave it in the comments below, at me on Twitter, and you know all this other social media garbage. And hit me up on the old Twitter if you play one of these games and you end up really liking it. Anyway, we got new videos and live streams all the time. Our schedule's in a pinned tweet over on our Twitter. We got Wolf Den Live, our live podcast every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time where we talk to each other. And we got live streams over on twitch.tv slash Wolf Den every single Tuesday and Thursday. I'm probably live right now. But don't go right over to Twitch because YouTube hates that. Go watch my video or click on any video. Click on any video that's on the page right now and then go to Twitch. Do that. Don't just go from here to Twitch. But yeah, you can support us here on YouTube by clicking that join button or you can go over to twitch.tv slash wolf. if you got Amazon Prime, you got a free Twitch Prime sub. Give it to your old pop boy over here. If you support us with any of those, you link it to your Discord account. You get into our support only Discord. You get videos like this one early before everybody else. You also get to play games with us once a month, like Mario Kart. I have a lot of room here, so I'm just using it all. But the most important thing that you can do, the easiest thing is just subscribe to the channel. That's easy. And share this video with a friend, a friend who has a Switch and is in a little bit of a lull and is just waiting for someone like Mario Maker. You can get him a nice cheap game in before that one comes out. Thank you guys very much. You have yourself a very good week.